ट्वेंटी फेब्रवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मधुबन अव्यक्त बाप्ता ओम शांति रिवाइज फोर्टींथ ऑफ जनवरी नाइनटीन नाइंटी दिमोर्स टाइटल इज टू मेन रीजन फॉर अ लैक ऑफ इंटेंसिटी इन योर एफर्ट्स थोड़ी बाप दादा द फर्स्ट एंड इटर्नल क्रिएटेड ऑफ द ब्राह्मण्स इट सिंह द ब्राह्मण चिल्ड्रन हु आर हिज डायरेक्ट एलिवेटेड क्लोज क्रिएशन यू आर ब्राह्मण सोल्स हु आर बाप दादास लवलीस्ट क्रिएशन एंड यू आर मूविंग फॉरवर्ड बाय कॉन्स्टेंटली कीपिंग इन योर अवेयरनेस इन द एम ऑफ बींग क्लोज एंड बिकमिंग इक्वल सो थोड़ी Bab Dada was especially seeing this first creation. He was seeing the spirit and method of both the first effort makers and the effort makers. He saw both types of Brahmin children, the ones who have a fast speed by using the elevated, easy method given by Bab Dada, and those who are sometimes fast and sometimes not so fast. everyone is receiving the same study sustenance and attainment from the one so why is there a difference in the speed fast effort makers means those who are in first division and effort makers means to pass for a second division to the everyone chart was especially checked there are many reasons but there are two main reasons everyone wants to go into the first division No one wants to go into the second division. However, there is a difference between the aim and in their qualification, which are the two main reasons. Firstly, the power of thought, the most elevated power, is not constantly used accurately for the self or for service at the appropriate time for the task. The second reason. is a lack of using power of speech means words accurately and powerfully the reason for these weaknesses is that instead of you putting them into use you became loose means slack there is very little difference in the words there is however a great difference in the result that the the only saw the result of 3 or 4 days he did not see the total result what did he say in the result of everyone for the 3 or 4 days 50% that is half and half the account of accumulation of both the powers of thought and speech for about 50% of souls was 40% accumulation and 60% vest and ordinariness so just think how much was accumulated which was greater speech has an effect on the mind too the mind pulls speech words to itself today bab dada is drawing your attention especially to speech that is to your words because words have a connection with oneself and also with others what else did bab see your mind has to stay in remembrance every now and then you do have programs for this however there is a lot of carelessness in words this is why bad dada it's especially making you underline this two years ago bad dada especially told the maharati souls who are moving forward in their efforts and service and everyone else three things about speech speak less speak softly and speak sweetly the sign of those who speak of wasteful things is that they speak a lot they would control themselves by compulsion according to the time and according to the gathering but inside they would feel as though someone has forced them to stay quiet what is the greatest damage caused by wasteful words firstly physical energy runs out because you spend it and secondly time is wasted what habit would those who speak of wasteful things have they would make a small thing into a very big thing and their way of speaking would be as though 
they are telling a story. People relate the Ramayan or the Mahabharat with interest. They will speak with a lot of interest themselves and they will create interest in others. But what is the result? What is the result of Ramayan or the Mahabharat? Ram went into exile. A battle took place between the Kauravas and the Pandavas. They show this in the form of a story. There is no essence in it. But the music of it is very entertaining. This is called a story. Because of the influence of Maya, those who speak of wasteful things are weak souls. They are very quickly made into companions by others for listening and speaking to. Such souls cannot become those who love solitude. This is why they are very clever at making companions. Externally, it appears as though their gathering is very powerful and big. But always remember one thing, these are the last steps of Maya's departure. This is why even as she is leaving, she continues to shoot her arrows. This is why sometimes and somewhere the influence of Maya does its work. She is not going to go away that easily. Even until the last moment, if not in a direct form, then indirectly. And if not in a better way, she will adopt a very sweet new form and keep on trying with Brahmins. What do innocent Brahmins then say? Bad Dada never said that Maya would come in this form though. Because of carelessness, they do not even check themselves and they think that Bab Dada had said that Maya would come. So they remember half the words that Maya will come, but they forget that they have to become conquerors of Maya. Another thing is that Baba saw different forms of wasteful and ordinary words. One is that you enlarge in jokes and laughter beyond the limit. Secondly, taunting to taunt someone. Thirdly, to gather news from here and there. Listen to it and speak of it. Fourthly, along with speaking of service news, you also speak of the weaknesses of the serviceable ones. That is mixed chutney. Fifthly, words that are not yukta yukta, words that are not in the Brahmin dictionary. Baba saw these five things. Baba counts all these five as wasteful words. Do not think that laughing and joking around is a good thing. Laughter and joking in which there is spirituality is good. Whoever you laughed and joked around with, did those souls benefit and did those souls time pass in a good way or was their time wasted? The virtue of being entertaining is good, but it is only good when it is appropriate to the person, the time, the gathering, the place and the atmosphere. If even one thing is not right in any of these things, then that entertainment is counted in the line of wasteful. The certificate you receive would be one that you make everyone laugh a lot, but you speak too much, so that it's mixed chutney, is it not? So stay within the limits of time. This is what is known as Maryada Purushottam, means following the highest codes of conduct. If you say that your nature is like that, what kind of nature is it? Is it like that of Babdada? So that is not called Maryada Purushottam either. That is called being an ordinary being. Let your words always be such that those who hear them would want to hear more. You should say something and like chatted words, they should hear it. Such words are called the invaluable elevated versions. Elevated versions are never many. If you continue to speak whenever you want, those are not called elevated versions. Therefore, Children of the Sadguru are master Sadgurus and so 
your words are not just words but elevated versions the intellect of someone who speak of wasteful things would definitely gather all the rubbish of wasteful things and wasteful news from everywhere because he would have to tell them in the form of an entertaining story for instance look at the intellects of those who write the scriptures this is why you must speak words that are necessary and yukti yukta according to the time and place those that bring benefit to yourselves and other souls you pay less attention to words and this is why baptada is doubly underlined this this year pay special attention to your words check how much energy and time you have accumulated and how much you have wasted in words when you check this you will automatically experience the sweetness of introversion there is the difference of day and night between the sweetness of introversion and that of words and activity an introverted soul will experience himself to be an embodiment of tapasya sitting in the cottage of forehead do you understand acha to understand means to become when someone understands something he definitely puts it into practice and also understand it therefore your teachers are sensible anyway this is why you have received this fortune at present you sometimes experience the fortune of being an instrument as ordinary but you will experience this fortune to be very elevated according to the time the awareness of who made you an instrument and who selected you as a worthy soul will automatically make you elevated if you remain aware of the one who is making you that you will very easily become a constant yogi constantly sing songs in your heart of praise of the father who made you became like that and you will become constant yogis this is not a small thing out of the selected few of the multi million souls of the entire world how many of you have become instrument teachers how many teachers are there in the brahman family so you are the selected ones out of the few to be a teacher means constantly to sing songs of the god means bhagwan and your fortune means bhagya babdada is proud of you teachers but he is proud of the teachers who are ras yukta means those who are aware of the significance of everything acha those of you in a household also stay in the pleasure do you not are you those who get confused or the ones who stay in pleasure in brahman life there is pleasure of the mind body wealth and people at every second you sleep comfortably you eat comfortably you live eat sleep and study comfortably what else do you need do you like studying or do you sleep at amritvela some children say we were awake all night and so we fell asleep in the morning or if they are doing a particular type of service they forget about amritvela so what was accumulated at that time nothing extra was accumulated on the one hand you did service and on the other you missed amritvela so then what happened however you must not sit simply as a discipline and became drowsy that television is very good those yogis sit in different yoga postures they would sit like this that or the other this happens here too you think that because this is easy yoga you can allow yourself to sit comfortably bab dada also listens to the tunes of some bab dada has that cassette too so baba would now doubly underline this would he not then bab dada will tell you what the difference is and the results acha to all the 
intense effort making souls everywhere who have an elevated aim and who embeds its qualification to the elevated souls who follow the most elevated code of conduct and constantly speak words according to the time and discipline to the knowledgeful souls who are constantly mahavirs and know all forms of maya to the carefree emperors who stay and pleasure at every second babdadas love remembrance and namaste the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father avyakta babdada meeting groups do you know very well the power of silence the power of silence can take you to your sweet home the land of peace in a second scientists are trying to invent even faster instruments however your instruments are so fast that as soon as you think of going you reach there that science have such instruments that you can go somewhere so far away without spending anything they spend so much on inventing each and every invention they use so much time and energy however what did you do you received everything without incurring any expense this power of thought is the fastest of all you have received the instrument of pure thoughts and a divine intellect you go there with a pure mind and a divine intellect you can return whenever you want you can go there whenever you want scientists have to consider the weather you don't even have to consider this for example that today it is cloudy so you won't be able to travel nowadays let alone clouds if it is even a little foggy aeroplanes cannot take off is your plan ever ready or is it sometimes a little foggy is it ever ready do you have such an intense speed that you can take off in a second maya doesn't sometimes create obstructions that shri no one can stop a master almighty authority who can stop you when you all have powers if you lack a particular power it is possible for you to be the shift at a time of need for instance you have the power to tolerate but if you are weak in the power to decide then when any such a situation arises in which you have to make a decision you would experience loss at that time you only have one moment to decide yes or no but its consequences are so great so check that you have all the powers do not think it is fine i am moving along and having yoga anyway however do you have all the attainments that you should have by having yoga or have you become happy with just a little now that the father belongs to you the father belongs to you but does the property means inheritance also belongs to you or is it okay that you have just found the father you want to become a master of the inheritance do you not the father's property is all the powers that is why the father's praise is the almighty authority the one with all powers have you accumulated a stock of all powers or do you have just enough you earn and you spend that is all bab dada has told you that as you make progress all will come as beggars to you master almighty authorities not begging for money or food but begging for powers so you would only be able to give when you have accumulated a stock would you not only those who have more than they need for themselves are able to donate if you only have sufficient for yourselves what would you donate 
therefore accumulate that much what else is there to do at the confluence age you have been given the task of accumulating there isn't any other age throughout the whole cycle for you to accumulate at that time you will be spending you won't be able to accumulate so if you do not accumulate at the time that you have to accumulate in the end what would have to be said if not now then never and the board of too late will be put up now the board of late is up but not of too late have all of you mothers accumulated thus much are you shiv shaktis or mothers at home when you say shiv shakti you remember the powers you are mothers whom the father has made into shiv shaktis if someone comes and sees your faces what would he or she say can there be such a shaktis however the father has recognized that you are powerful souls the father sees the soul he doesn't see whether someone is old young or a child the soul is not old or young so it is a matter of happiness that baba has made you into shiv shaktis there are so many educated women in the world but the father loves those from the villages why does he love them the lord is pleased with an honest heart the father loves an honest heart those who are innocent do not know how to lie or deceive anyone those who are clever and sly have those traits those whose hearts are innocent that is those who are beyond the cleverness of worldly maya are deeply loved by the father the father sees honest hearts he doesn't look at your study your faces your village or your money honest hearts are needed and this is why the father's name is delwala the conqueror of hearts acha blessing may you be master knowledgeful and fix your fortune for the first division by having determined faith explanation determined faith fixes your fortune just as father brahma is fixed as the first number in the same way have the determined faith that you will definitely come in the first division every child has thus golden chance in the drama simply pay attention to this practice and you can claim a number ahead for this be master knowledgeful in every act you perform increase your experience of his company and everything will become easy maya is a paper tiger in front of those who have a company of the almighty authority father slogan consider yourselves to be a hero actor and continue to play your hero parts in the unedited drama om shanti